There were no rules, fear was unknown, and sleep was out of the question. Tales of glamour and excess. Back to basics. The whole shocking story. We're here today with uh, the Basement Jacks. Here to celebrate our twenty-first anniversary. When you finished school, you either went on the dole or went down the pit. There was a recession going on. Thatcher had really put the boot in. You know, there's a lot of unemployment. All of a sudden, um, there's the Sex Pistols and the Clash on the television. The pistols are so outrageous and shocked everybody's parents. It's like, and that's what most kids want to do. The whole thing was about that. I ended up roadie in and then we were in Chicago at the Metro, places like that. So I was listening to it, hearing this, you know, hearing house music. It was just totally grabbed me by the balls and dragged me in. The music they were playing, it was the perfect uh, soundtrack for the confused punk stroke soul boy. There's something about the 303, there's something about the acid noise that tweaks my brain in such a way that it will always turn me on. It was like punk rock, anybody could do it. <laughs> You really felt like you belonged to something otherworldly. People, people were doing these mind-altering drugs, and they were wanting to, they were wanting a, a, a better level of freedom. Football violence changed overnight, which it did, because uh, all of a sudden people didn't want to fight. People didn't want to be like that. We've been doing it for quite a long time. You know, this is '91. We've been at it since '87. You know, the old e culture, the old acid house thing had kind of run its course. That's when it started veering into sort of basics Taylor Swift. That's how we started off. We wanted to change it, we wanted something different. It is time to return to those old core values. Time to get back to basics. Back to basics put the leads on the map. Dave and Alistair put together what turned, you know, turned out to be, as far as I'm concerned, one of the best clubbing brands that I think the United Kingdom's had the pleasure to experience. There wasn't tons of nights, there wasn't tons of DJs. We were doing something very new and very fresh for the city and the area. I used to judge everybody on the shoes, shoes and haircuts. We just wouldn't let people in because we, I knew that if we made it difficult for people to get in, they'd want to get in even more. We're getting calls from people like David Bowie and Chrissy Hind, people like that asking us to make records with them. We were living the dream. Obviously, when Ali died, it changed. He's always there, that's why. We never changed the philosophy of the club, that's why we never sold out. There'll be clubs that have grown out of the EDM explosion that you know won't be here in five years' time, but I know Basics will. Over 21 years, I've not got a clue how we're still going, really, <laughs> apart from sheer madness. Back to Basics, two steps further than any other fucker, and that's like, it's a pretty bold statement. Back to Basics, two steps further than any other fucker. fucker. 